everyone, my name is Gina and today is my April wrap up and my May TBR. Now my April wrap up is pretty pathetic and my May TBR is pretty ambitious. So yeah, in the month of April I read a total of two books, I completed a third, and I've started quite a few others. My goal for April was to get my currently reading out of the double digits. I did achieve that. I mainly achieved that because I took books off of my currently reading and put them back on my to be read so that way I could get that currently reading down. Now what I ended up doing was I took all the books that I am less than 20 pages into and put them back on my to be read because 20 pages is something that I can go ahead and reread. The books that I did keep on my currently reading were the ones that I am actually reading and also ones that I am anywhere between 50 to 100 pages into already that I really doubt I'm going to reread those first 50 to 100 pages because let's face it, if I put the book down to begin with, I'm not going to continue past that if I start reading it from the beginning. So like I said, the month of April really wasn't that great. If you remember from my March wrap up, hello neighbor, if you remember from my March wrap up, I was kind of in a reading slump the last week of March and honestly I really haven't gotten out of it. I'm still kind of stuck in a reading slump for various different reasons and no matter what I try to do, I just can't seem to pull myself out of it. I did end up reading Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, which I was hoping would get me out of it. It did a little bit, but at the same time, I'm still kind of stuck in, you know, that lapse of I want to read this, but I don't want to read this, and it's just, it's a lot. Hopefully with the ambitious TBR that I'm giving myself for May, I will be able to snap that reading slump and hopefully get back into reading things because I was really hoping to have my 35 books read by this time and it has not happened yet. So hopefully, hopefully May, I can snap out of this reading slump and get back to reading. So the first book that I finished in April was Insurgent. I did mention this in my March wrap up, but I thought that I would mention it again because I did actually finish it in April. It was meh. I believe I gave it like a three and a half out of five stars on Goodreads. Like, I just wasn't feeling it. I had to force myself to get through it. There were some parts in it that I liked, most of it I didn't. It's kind of disappointing because I loved Divergent and Insurgent was just a letdown. After I read Insurgent, I did read Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I loved this book. To hear all of my thoughts on it, you can go and check out my review video. I will leave a link in the description below. Just bear in mind, I say really a lot in that video. I noticed it about 13 reallys in and is just insane. So you'll see a little counter in the top right corner. That is my counter for how many times I say really in that video. It's nuts. But however, I did love this book. I gave it a five out of five on Goodreads. It was fantastic and I cannot wait for the movie. The third book that I finished was Allegiant. The third book in the Divergent trilogy. I hated it more than I hated Insurgent. I did not enjoy that book at all. It was really hard to get into. The dual POV was just like, what are you doing? It made sense come the end of the book. I have no idea how I was not spoiled for that book, by the way. I was not spoiled for Allegiant, and it blows my mind that I was not spoiled for that book. That, that takes some skill right there. But I just didn't like it. I didn't like the dual POVs. I felt like every time we finally started getting into some action, it stopped and switched point of views. So I just didn't like that book. There were just things about it that I was just like, oh my god, stop. Like, can we just continue with what's going on? That being said, there were some aspects that I enjoyed. Some, not many. I did give it a 2 out of 5 on Goodreads. I just did not like it. Again, the same with Insurgent. Like, I loved Divergent, but the other two books in the series were just letdowns. I don't think that they were necessarily needed for the story. I feel like had Divergent been just a little bit bigger and some things been switched and the ending would have been rounded out well, it could have made a fantastic standalone. I truly believe that that could have been a fantastic standalone. It did not need to be a trilogy at all. I just, I just didn't like it. However, 
I did enjoy the epilogue. I liked the fact that we got to see how everyone was doing after that intense ending, and I liked how it was just done. I liked the part that Four played in the epilogue, and I can't say too much more with that about that without spoiling it, because I know that there are some people out there who have not been spoiled for it. I was one of those people, so that is all I'm going to say on that, and just know that I did not like the trilogy as a whole. I loved Divergent, Insurgent was meh, Allegiant just kind of pissed me off. So that's what I read in April. I... <laughs> I don't know, I think between having to force myself through Allegiant as well as having to force myself through Insurgent, even though I read me and Earl and the Dying Girl in between the two of them, just between both of those books were so physically draining having to force myself to get into them and force myself to continue reading it. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I was in the reading slump. So again, hopefully May I can snap out of it and it'll be better. That being said, I also started a few other books in April, and hopefully I will get those done soon, really soon. And the books that I have started, the first is a library book, and it is Never Have I Ever, My Life So Far Without a Date by Katie Heaney. Heaney? 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 I'm not really too sure how you pronounce her last name, sorry. But so far I am loving this book. It is essentially a memoir about Katie's life, and from what I gather, it's just her going through her failed attempts at love. And it sounds really good, and I'm so glad that I picked it up. I actually picked this up because it is the book that I bought My Secret Santa way back in December, and when I bought it for her, I read the first couple pages, and I was instantly hooked. Like, it was just so fun, and it just really grabbed my attention. I was kind of sucked into it, and I enjoyed it, so I've been wanting to pick it up ever since. I just haven't wanted to buy myself a copy of it. So I finally got it from the library, and so far I'm loving it. I'm not that far into it, but I know that I can knock this out in no time. I just have to sit down and read. That seems to be my biggest problem lately, is just sitting down and focusing enough to read a book. The next book that I started I'm about 60 pages into, and that is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I am loving this book so far. If you don't know, A Darker Shade of Magic is essentially about parallel Londons, and there's various different magic to it, and it's like a fantasy, and you have these, you know, this royalty within it, and I really don't know too much about it other than Kel is a thief and he travels from London to London, from different parallel Londons, like trading and selling things and stealing things, and so far it is really good. I am enjoying every minute of it. This book is another one that I'm pretty sure that I can knock out in no time. I just have to sit down and focus. With this one, however, unlike Never Have I Ever, I'm actually listening to music to it. I have gone through Spotify and found various different fantasy reading playlists, and that is what I've been listening to while reading this book, and it is just perfect. Listening to music with this book, as long as it's the right kind of music, is working so well, and I cannot wait to continue on with it. The rest of the books on my May TBR are books that I've been wanting to read for a while, except for one. One of them I just bought, and I just really want to read it, so that is why it's on my May TBR. But the first book on my May TBR which I have been dying to read ever since I started this booktube channel, and that is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I want to read this book so badly, and I still have not read it, so hopefully May will be the month that I actually finally sit down and read it. It is the same story with this next book, The Land of Stories, A Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. The Wishing Spell. The Wishing Spell, not A Wishing Spell. I have wanted to read this book since it came out. There are now three of them out. So, yeah, I haven't read it yet. I'm hoping May will be the month because I'm pretty sure the fourth book is coming out in July, meaning Chris will be touring again in July, so hopefully I can get the fourth one signed as well. So I really kind of need to get on this series and get caught up before the fourth one comes out. So hopefully that will happen in May. I'm hoping to at least read this one. I don't know if I'll touch the other two or not. Hopefully though, I can at least get through the first one. The next book on my May TPR is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I've picked this up recently. I started reading it. I got like six pages in and I was instantly hooked. But I started reading it at the movie theater before a movie and 
obviously I couldn't really read in the dark at the movies so I put it down and since I had so much else that I was trying to get through I haven't picked it up since so I'm hoping to pick this one back up this month because it just sounds really good it is basically a retelling of The Wizard of Oz and I like retellings as long as they're done well. Dorothy Must Die has high praise on both Goodreads and in Booktube and the sequel just came out so I'm hoping to get to this one in May as well. And the last two books on my May TBR, which I really should have read by now, is the third and fourth books. This is backwards. The third and fourth books of Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. I am so behind on these. I was trying to read one a month with the exception of a month because there's 13 books in the series. It is going to be month five and I am still, still waiting to start book three. So hopefully I can get these done in May. They're really short. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I might start with these after I finish Never Have I Ever and A Darker Shade of Magic just to kind of help get me out of this reading slump that I'm in because they're really short and I can knock them out in no time. That is all I have for you today guys. That was my April wrap up which was pretty pathetic and my slightly ambitious May TBR. Ugh. Slightly ambitious May TBR considering I am in a reading slump. Hopefully I can knock myself out of that reading slump and get back to reading and get working on that Goodreads goal, get working on getting my TBR lessened. That is the main goal. So yes, that is that. Hopefully, hopefully it will happen. But yes, let me know in the comments what you're reading and if you've read any of the books that I have on my TBR. I'd love to hear from you. As always, links to everything in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I really enjoyed, there I go with the relay again. So hopefully, hopefully with the ambitious Me and Earl and the Dying, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Veronica Roth. This is not by Veronica Roth. Insurgents was by Veronica Roth. So I really, 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 no really. And that is all I have for you for my April TBR and my May. That's not right.